Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a really simple single smoke effect to the plane crash in Chernogorsk. In fact, I've got a free um, a JSON snippet that you can just add to your file um, to create this uh, rather simple effect. And uh, also in that JSON file, there's a snippet that gives you a load of smoke at Northeast Airfield so that you can kind of see how this works and kind of play around with it. Right, so let's um, let's put on a free cam and let's go and have a look. So with the new JSON file that's available for Xbox, PlayStation and PC, um, we can spawn in lots of different particle effects. Um, and half the, half the battle with this is trying to figure out particle effects that... Um, kind of makes sense in the game and also you don't want to overwhelm the game as well because remember people who are playing on xbox ones and playstation 4s if you put dozens and dozens of these smoke effects or fire effects or anything like that in it will crash the game so one of the places i thought it would be worth putting a single smoke plume would be by the plane crash in chernogorsk because you've got this plane that's crashed into this building and you kind of i don't know there would have been a big fire wouldn't there and although there probably wouldn't be fire now the smoke is quite interesting. Um, and also, if you're approaching Chernogorsk, um, it gives you you know, a, a kind of a point of interest just, just to look at. I thought it was a nice, nice little effect. And you could add this sort of effect to lots of different places where there was um, you know, wrecks or, or anything like that. And this will be permanently on the map changing in the wind. Also, if we go up to North east airfield at krasnostav up here um, what you'll see here is a load of smoke <laughs> how cool is this this is like um oil rigs on fire isn't it and in fact if we toggle free cam on and then go into the air and we look down on it, you can kind of get an idea of how this, this smoke effect works. Because what we're doing here is we're changing the, um, uh, the, the, the code that gives us the toxic zones at Riffy. Um, and instead of spawning in toxic gas, we're asking it to spawn in helicopter crash smoke. And you can see, you know, we've got a circle, haven't we? There's an outer circle, there's one right in the middle, and then there's an inner circle of smoke. So hopefully you can kind of start to think, oh, there might be lots of uses I could use for this to create different effects. Um, and... Um, yeah, it's very, very cool indeed, the fact that we, that we can do this and we can call on some of these different commands to, to, to bring stuff in. So, without further ado, let's dive into the code. But what we do need to do is we need to uh, put credit where credit's due um, by going and saying a big, big thank you to um, Don Sibley and his amazing uh, Daisy CFG effect area.json stream he did a few days ago where he spends two hours explaining what a lot of these things do and, and how to do it. A lot of what I do is based on this. I spent, I watched all this video and made notes. Um, it's very, very good indeed. So I'll put a link to that video in the script, description below this one. Also, you want to also join Balshad's amazing Discord. Um, Balshad has loads of really good um tutorials and guides to follow about modding on playstation xbox and, P and pc and there's a particularly good one about the contaminated zones as well and how you can change them and also um for a change daisy have produced a nice wiki page that explains how the daisy contaminated contaminated areas work um, which is really cool as well. So you can see that. And also you want to, um, and this is a link in the description below the video, there's a JSON validator and, and formatter. So as you're changing your JSON files or JSON file, you want to validate it to make sure you haven't made any simple mistakes. Okay, so what you want to do is down in the description below the video, probably at the top, there'll be a link to my GitHub and uh, hopefully it should take you to the Daisy Churn. Oh, not that one. You don't want to go to that one. Hopefully, it will take you to the Daisy Churnera Smoke Over Plane Crash and Lots of Smoke at Northeast Airfield JSON Code Snippets. 
Yes, these titles, it takes me hours to come up with them. Um, and in that, uh, you'll see a readme. Now, the readme just gives you a few warnings. says, look, if you use these code snippets, you know, it's if it goes wrong, you know, don't blame me. And then you'll find a text file that has the code snippets in. So you can directly copy and paste from that. Or if you click on the green button, you'll see download zip, and you can download a zip and extract it. Because what you want to do is you want to download them or open them up in your favorite text editor. So here I have um, Notepad++ and I've copied and pasted the two, um, uh, what would you call them, two, two areas into it. And you can see there's, there's two parts to it. There's the top one, which is the single smoke churn plane crash. And then there's the lots of smoke at, at Northeast Airfield. And you'll, you'll see they look very, very similar. Um, all you need to do is if you want to add these to your server, what you need to do is you need to have access to your um, JSON file, the CFG um, effect area.json. Now to find that, what you want to do is you want to go to your server and what I'll do here is I'm going to be using um, uh, my Nitrido servers as an example. And so you'll go to your servers dum -de dum -de dum -de dum -de dum And then you go to the web interface for a particular server. And on the left-hand side, you'll see the file browser. So you want to click on the file browser. And you want to go into the DAISY missions folder. Um, it's DAISY Xbox missions for uh, Xbox server, DAISY PS missions for a PlayStation server. I think it's just DAISY missions for a PC server, but you've got to dig a little bit further for a PC server. And you click on here, you go in, and straight away you're going to daisyoffline.churneris plus. Um, if it says uh, Enoch, that means it's a Livonia server. And the file we're looking for is the CFG effect area.json. There it is. CFG effect area.json. And you want to download that, make a backup, and open it up in your favorite text editor. So, so here it is. Um, and then what you want to do is you'll want to go right to the top of the uh, the file and you, you'll probably only want to spawn in the single smoke churn plane crash one because the other one's just a bit of a one that you can play around with actually let's say you want to spawn in both so you want to make sure you copy everything right from the first squiggly left hand bracket to that comma at the end you want to copy all of that and you want to copy that and then you want to go to your cfg effect area.json which when you open it up um will look something like this so so your file will look like that because it will just have the the um contaminated zones from the ship so you want you want to go to the top where that square bracket is and after that click and then put in a space put in a enter carriage return and then you want to paste in what we did before so here we go so we've got the single smoke churner's plane crash and the lots of smoke northeast airfield then all you need to do is you need to save that um, validate it so to validate this the files what you all you need to do is go to uh, json formatter find your file on your server or in your uh, on your computer drag that over process it and you're looking for valid now sometimes with the formatter it will it will correct your um file for you so you'll see valid but it will have it will have changed something so you need to look out for that because sometimes you'll just see the green bar and you'll go all right that's cool and then go and go back to editing when in fact it has changed something so if it has changed something look for that and then copy and paste it back into your existing file or make the correction so we know that's that's um we know that's okay so once you've done that you can then go back to your game server go down to the bottom upload the file over the top of the existing one and just restart the server and you will then have you know all this uh, lovely smoke at northeast airfield and the probably more useful single smoke above the plane crash at chernogorsk but let's go back and uh, let's have a look at these files and kind of see see what's going on so the first thing to remember is that when you create a new area, 
um, so you want to create a new smoke effect or a new uh, contaminated zone, you want to copy all, everything from the first squiggly bracket to the comma after the bracket. So you would copy that and then paste it like so. And now I've got the ability to create another event. Now, um, what you want to do is you all must, always must call it something different. So single smoke, um, let's say um, uh, green mountain. So we wanted to do one there. So we go single smoke green mountain. Now it's in contaminated area. Now the trigger type is effect trigger. So this is different to the contaminated areas. So the contaminated areas, it's contaminated trigger. If you were to use contaminated trigger, uh, you're, if, as you got close, you would start bleeding and you would get ill. So we use effect trigger. And that just makes the thing work, but you don't get ill. And your position, you've got your X and your Z coordinates here, are there. So you get them from... Um, the I survive map. So if we wanted to do something at Green Mountain, we would do this and say, I don't know, say we wanted the smoke to be on top of the building at Green Mountain. You put your cursor there, hit Control C, that gives you your coordinates. So then what we can do here is say there, we could paste that in. And then pretty sure you only really want whole numbers you don't want to worry about the decimals i could be wrong but i would i would just go with whole numbers that can be a little bit difficult to see sometimes like so delete that and then you can pretty much ignore radius and position height and negative height. It doesn't really mean that much now what we have done when you're doing this anyway what we have done we've timed we said outer ring toggle to false so that means there is no outer ring of smoke and we've also said inner ring count is zero so all there is in in this um in this contaminated area is one single um, middle point so that you know wh wherever our coordinates are that's where our um our effect is going to be and in this particular effect um it's the graphic particle smoke heli rec zero one um which gives you that that smoke effect coming from um, from the top of the hotel uh, or the building that the plane has crashed crashed to. So you may be wondering, well, where do I get these different smoke effects? Well, you need to extract the game files. So if you go back or do a search through my YouTube channel, you'll see a thing about that says how to extract game files, and then you can look at all these different smoke effects that you could potentially use. An interesting thing, actually, before I forget, is that you'll notice with the positions we've got the X and the Z, but we've got no Y. What Y is height, I think, in in Daisy, but we've got no we've got no Y. So you could put stuff at a particular height. However. What the game does is it will always, if you put a position at the height of zero, it will always spawn it on top of the ground. And it knows what buildings are. So that's why um, the smoke appears on top of the building. We don't have to try and figure out how tall the building is or anything like that. As long as we get our coordinates right, so they're on top of the building, the smoke will just spawn on top of the building. Uh, so outer ring toggle is false. If we come down to the particle name, we've changed that to smoke underscore heli rex underscore o one. And then what we do is we delete right up to that slash the bit that says around part name and, tin and tiny part name. Um, and then in the PPR uh, quester type, we delete everything so you're just left with the two inverted commas. The reason why we do that is because we don't want uh, a special type of tint coming to the player as they approach the um, approach where we're going. So the, the difference is with the... Um, uh, if we scroll down to so the lots of smoke at northeast airfield is that the inner ring count is one and the outer ring toggle is one so that we've got one inner ring which has got smoke spawning at it we've got an outer ring where the smoke is spawning at it and also we've got that center ring as well itself so by using kind of this this um, snippet you can put smoke wherever you like now remember don't go too mad because it puts an awful lot of stress especially on older consoles to have lots of smoke particles going across but if you go around the map and you, maybe you find like a, a tank um wreck or something you just think i tell you what you know I, I i think a bit of smoke it would add a little bit of interest to the uh, to the map or maybe near a um 
you, you could even make it near something like a uh, ruins in the countryside somewhere, especially in Livonia. Or if you use another effect, so let's say you spawn in, um, use like Don's files to spawn in the camp, the uh, cannibal campfire sort of idea, where you spawn in a campfire event, you know, like a permanent one that's there all the time. You could then have smoke coming off it so people could find it a little bit easier in a very simple way. It's very easy to use these JSONs as long as you make sure you get all your spelling right and you get all your copy and pasting right. Right, so there we go. That is um, how you can add smoke to the top of the... Uh, let's go back over it. Let's go there. Turn the free cam off. Dunk. There we go. There it is. Smoke to the top of the building that has the plane crashed into it in uh, Chernogorsk. And how you could use that same technique to add uh, smoke to over different parts of your DAISY map. But again, the idea of those snippets on my GitHub is that you can just insert them very easily and you don't have to muck around with any code and you could have what I think is it's quite an interesting little uh, little effect that isn't it it just adds a little little bit of extra interest to the map okay so that's enough from me if you found the video useful hit like if you want to see all the same press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon